Hey YouTube, this is Chloe. Um, so I just wanted to make a little update. Um, it's about my tailbone. So I went to take the x-ray a few days ago. So good, it was working. Oh no, she's up. <laughs> Good night. I have to turn light off because obviously as no the eerie light shines on my face and makes me look like a freaking ghost but she likes the light on. See you little ghost. Night nights. Shh. Night nights. Hold on. Oh, yeah, I'm sure she's still awake. Um, but yeah, this is an update about my tailbone. I got an x-ray done a few days ago. I went to the doctor's yesterday, and it's not good news. Um, I was right. I knew something was horribly wrong with it, and something is horribly wrong with it. Unfortunately, everyone told me, oh, it's healing, it's healing. Give it time, it needs to heal. That's what all my other doctors said. Well, I've been going for six months <laughs> with a, I don't know, the, I can't pronounce the name, I can spell you as the name, C-O-C-C-Y-D-Y-N-I-A. Um, something about my cartilage, where the tailbone is at, is just messed up. He's never saw um, it like this before, like how mine is, he's never saw it like that. Um, it's, I don't know, it's hard to explain to you guys, um, but there's a few things going on with it that, um, first of all, I guess the way it's bent is very weird. Um, it's not normally how it would be bent or popped or broken or whatever. It's in a different direction. I don't know what that means. Um, I don't know how it's supposed to be bent normally. Um, also, on the tailbone disc or whatever, um, there's a piece of bone. Um, ripped off, or, or I don't know, it's hanging or what, but it's it's not good. I don't know if it's on or ripped or whatever, but there's a piece of bone missing or coming off of my tailbone, so it's very much fra fractured. And he was saying about infection. I, I don't know. Um, I've been getting um, fevers ever since then, on and off. Um, so that might explain. Like my husband's like, well, usually when you have that's what he kept saying. There must be something. You must have an infection somewhere. You keep getting these fevers, and you know, pre art, you know, out of nowhere, just these fevers. And you know, I would usually get a headache with the fever. Excuse me. Um, which that's a new one for me. So yeah, um, it's a little weird. Just last night I had a headache with the fever. So yeah. Um, and also, I got my blood work taken to check my liver and kidneys. My liver and kidneys are fine, but my white blood cells are low, a little bit low. So he's saying that maybe if I take a multi, mul excuse me, he's saying maybe if I take like a vitamin, an everyday vitamin, uh, one a day vitamin with iron in it, that might do the trick. Um, heard something. So, yeah, um... Something else is low on me, but I forgot what it was. The oxygen, um, my oxygen blood thing, I don't know, the things in your blood make oxygen. That's a little low too. So that could be a reason I'm getting headaches as well. Just a little bit low. Um, he said you, people usually, TMI, but usually people that have, uh, low, uh, white blood cells usually have heavy periods. Um, I don't really have heavy periods. Um, at all, really. Um, they're actually very, very light ever since I had Savannah, so that's rather nice. Um, so yeah, but my tailbone, it's bad news. Um, it's not going to get better. My options are, he, I have to see an orthopedic now, um, orthopedic surgeon. And um, he was saying um, the only options that he knows, well, there's like three options, right? I can either live with the pain forever, um, but his worry is that uh, it will pop again because um, it's not looking good. 
and if it pops again, it could be even more painful than I already am. Um, he says it could pop back to place, but with the cartilage and all everything, it doesn't look like it would. Um, it's very unlikely, he actually said, but it could. He's not ruling it out. Um, it depends how I would pop it, obviously, again. Um, but he was saying that, you know, it's just not good. It's just... It's not good. Basically, it's not good to be living like this. It's not good to be, have, you know, to not take care of it. It's been six months already, over six months since I popped it. December 9, 2010, I popped it. Um, so, yeah, I guess it's not really an option, but I guess it's my option if I don't want to do anything about it. I can live with it and then probably have it get popped again in a worse position, and I don't know what's going to happen to me then. Um, also, um... A little off subject, but when I got my tailbone x-rayed, I actually got my back x-rayed as well, where they, epi where they, did me, where they gave me an epidural with my son. Well, now it's been since I haven't had an x-ray done on my back since I had Savannah. I got an epidural, a epidural done with Savannah as well, because um, that's a whole... I haven't done my labor and delivery story, and I really need to, because... Um, crazy, crazy stuff went on, and I had to get one because my blood pressure was going so high, and they forced one on me, and it was horrible, horrible, most, most horrible pain ever because of my nerve damage, and it, it just felt like my, it was just so horrible, it was so painful, and, um, that's a whole other story, I don't really want to get too much into it, my kids are being super bad out there, so anyways, um, so yeah, I got an extra done on my back, and um, it shows that I guess my discs are bulging even more so than last, and um, I guess there's big spaces in between my discs or something, and oh my goodness, I want to scream at my kids, but I don't want to wake up Savannah, and I don't want to scream on the video. Um, and my curve, I have sclerosis, um, didn't say hit sclerosis. Um, I had 18 slash 20 degree curve back in 2008. Well, now my curve, I guess, is getting worse or whatever. So that's lovely. That's probably why my back hurts even more. Because um, I have, I've been having long-term back problems since I had my son due to getting an epidural with him. So I did not want to get an epidural done in Savannah, but I was forced to, and it wasn't good. So, um, so anyways, about, so yeah, my option is not to do nothing. The other option is. Um, if the if the orthopedic he says he's not sure if he's gonna do it because um, he you know he's not Dead. I bought Savannah like this little toy and it like kisses you and she's laying on it so now it's doing a Ch -ch 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 kissy noise all the time so anyways um he's not sure if the orthopedic if that's even an option to pop it back into place due to what Go sleepies. I don't smile. You go night nights. Being silly. So she's such a good baby. Um, even though she wakes up right now, my kids are being loud in another room. My husband's in the living room trying to sleep because Savannah wasn't sleeping. I really have to take that toy away. It's waking her up. I'm sorry, guys. I'm so sidetracked right now. I'm so sorry. So I'm gonna put it in line. My options are not doing nothing, which you guys already heard, but that's not really an option. That's not a smart option, because I'm doing, basically. It's going to pop again. I'm just a ticking time bomb waiting to pop, and it, that that scares the living hell out of me, because when I popped it, I wasn't able to walk. It was insane. 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 Especially that I didn't pop now. It was like I popped it in a very messed up position, so it's not even like in a good position where it heals, right? It don't heal right. So yeah, and my other option is if the orthopedic guy says so, I can get it popped back. I'll have to be put under because it'd be way too much pain. He even My doctor even said so. Usually they'll put you under for that. Um, but he's not sure because of the, bro the broken bone or whatever on my tailbone. He's not sure if that's even an option. Um, or my third one is to get my tailbone took it out and removed. Um, my husband's mom said that she knew somebody that had that done. So, I think my option is going to be that one because I don't want to deal with it anymore. I don't know if you guys know anybody. 
that has had their tailbone taken out, please tell me how they are. I mean, are they like a normal person? Can they walk? Normal? Can they do normal things? But now I'm like freaking even more paralyzed than where when I was already before my tailbone popped. I'm like a ticking time bomb. I can't do anything now. So it sucks. Now that I know that it, it could pop again, th now that, cause see, before I thought it was healing, that it was just taking a long time to heal. Everyone told me that, right? But now it's not. It's not healing. It's in a, it's damaged. It's messed up, infected, and all that crap. So, it, yeah. Like, this is TMI. So if no one hears TMI, don't listen. But, like, to take a bowel movement, I, I don't even want to go through that. Um, it, I'm so, 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 so scared to do that. And um, it's just ridiculous. Um, yeah, I don't feel like a normal person at all. I can't even sit normal. Um, I have to sit on my legs and show you guys that before. So, yeah, it's just crazy. Um, so now I know I have... You know, when it hurts, I know it's because it's it's infected, it's it's broken, it's it's not it's not normal, it's hurting because it's not right. Not because it's healing. So I have to do something about it. And it's scary because either or I'm gonna be going through pain again. They get it popped back into place, I'll be going through the same amount of pain as I went through when I popped it. It hurt. You know, it's gonna hurt again when I pop it back into place. And now that it's broken, like a piece of bone's broken on it, who knows how that that's gonna feel when it's like he was saying, you don't even know if it could get get back into place. You don't even know. That's the impossible. But he's not like the orthopedic, so you know he has to obviously um, they obviously have to tell me that's even a possibility. Um, but basically, I'm thinking I'm gonna have to get my tailbone removed, and that's crazy. Um, that's just crazy. All the hell stuff that I'm going through is crazy. I'm only 23. Just turned 23. It is insane. Um, I'm not going to have any more kids. Um, if I do, it has to be by C-section if I have it. Because I'm not dealing with this. I don't even want to think about pushing a baby out. I'm just thanking God so bad. So badly that this happened after I had Savannah. And not during my pregnancy or something. That would have been horrible. Because if I can't even take a bowel movement, how the freaking hell am I going to push a baby out? So, yeah. Um, so, yeah. It, going to the fair this year is going to suck. It's going to suck. Because I, I'm not going to want to go on no bumpy rides. Because, um, like, even going over speed bumps, oh, holo. No, 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 no. I have not even uh, drove in my van since this all happened. Um, very scary. I can't sit. I can't sit normal. I, I just can't. I don't even know how I'm going to drive anymore. My daughter starts school in August. I don't even know how I'm going to do that. Um, so yeah, I'm just venting to you guys. So now, um, since he got this done, I'm on pain medicine, obviously. And now he understands, um, of course, my pain. But um, yeah, I don't know what's going to go on. I want it fixed. And I want it to be better. But, um, this is a whole other thing. I'm basically done talking about the tailbone thing, but, um, yeah. But I was really good on not taking my semitriptan, which is a headache medicine for migraines. Um, I've been really good about not taking it. I actually didn't have to take it for a whole month until yesterday night. And I literally went to the doctor's yesterday afternoon, and I told him I'm very proud to say I haven't taken, I have not taken semitriptan in a month because I've been, you know, not having that many headaches. And when I do get a headache, I take ibuprofen and sleep and all that stuff, and uh, he's like, good for you, but then later on that day, I got a horrible headache, and I had to take some metriptan. It was horrible, um, because it was the second day of my cycle, ant flow, and um, it was so hot outside, and I, I waited so long to eat, but I think it was just a hormonal, hormonal headache, um, so yeah, um, but now my throat hurts a little bit, because it makes my mouth so dry, and so now my throat's a little scratchy, itchy, dryish, hurting feeling. But I did take away my headache, so I didn't get a rebound headache today, because I took it last night, and I didn't get no rebound headache today. So I'm hoping I'm not going to get one tomorrow either. I just want to be headache free. I, that was my third headache within the last week. So yeah, but I think it's all because of my period, you know, expecting it right before my period, and, you know, 
been one all my period. So hopefully I'm done with headaches for a while. Knock on wood. So yeah. But everything else is going okay. I mean, that was just some kind of messed up news I got about my tailbone. Um, I didn't really expect it. And when he said the name, I like crunched. And I'm like, I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Because I knew it was bad. Because first he read the results about my back. And he's like, I don't see anything about your tailbone here. I'm like, really? I'm like, yeah, cool. You know, everything's fine with it, I guess. To go away, wait, wait, he's like, oh, what's this? He got, like, the report out, and he's like, oh, no. I'm like, what? And yeah. He was even shocked. He's like, what do you do to it? How did you hurt hurt your tailbone? So, yeah. So, yeah, anyways, you guys, hopefully this wasn't too random. Hopefully you understood me. I know I'm rambling on Savannah, my kids, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah. Um, thanks for watching. Oh, yeah, this is kind of random, but... I guess my computer is full of memory, so when I load up my memory card trying to load on new items of, you know, off my memory card, like pictures and videos, it says it's, the disk is full. So automatically I bought a new chip for my memory card. I bought a new memory card thinking something's wrong with the memory card because I had that happen to me before. And because um, it only loaded off of like 19 items off the memory card, and there was like 49. So I'm like, that's weird. And it wouldn't load down anymore. It says disk is full. And I'm like, that's that's really weird. So I bought a new memory card for a really, really good discount price. Um, it was actually on sale for a 4 gigabyte, I think that's what it's called, uh, for $9.88. Um, that's really good. Usually they're like $12, $13, sometimes even $14. And the cashier lady rung it, rung it up at $12.88. We're like, no, it's $9.88. So she went back there and saw it. And then she gave it to us for seven forty eight, and my husband's like, I'm like, I wonder why we got it so cheap. I wonder if she messed up. And he's like, No, I think she has to give us a few dollar discount because she messed up because she charged us the wrong price the first time. So yeah, anyway, that's kind of random. But so I got the new memory card. I made a few videos. I made a few pictures, and it all loaded up one video, and that was it. And it's full. So we're thinking that our memory on our computer is full. So if you guys know how I can. I don't want to have to delete anything off of it. Like, I don't want to have to, 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 I don't want to have to, are you serious? I'm like tongue tired now. I don't want to delete pictures or videos of Savannah because I got this computer like in November or December of last year. So basically I had this computer uh, since Savannah's been here her whole life. And it's just filled with all her videos and stuff. I don't want to delete anything. Plus I haven't you know, burn anything onto a CD yet, and even if I do that, I still don't want to have to delete it off of my hard drive, you know, I don't want to have to delete it to make more room for new stuff, so is there, like, something I can do, or, you know, to, like, make more room somehow, I don't know, without having to delete my stuff, I don't know, let me know, because right now I cannot make, I cannot, uh, post any pictures or new video onto my computer, sucky, thumbs down that, so yeah, let me know. Um, but for now, that's about it. It is Friday in the a.m. And um, yeah, hopefully tomorrow's a good day. Hopefully I don't have a headache. And my husband gets his first paycheck, so thumbs up for that. Um, we're thinking about getting a pool for the backyard. Um, like a big one. One that I actually could go into. Um, I don't know how it's all going to pan out with my tailbone, but yeah, we'll see. I actually haven't went swimming since my nerve damage. Believe it or not, since 2000. Last time I went swimming, like in a real pool, um, was in 2004. Wow. No, that's a lie. 2005, when I was pregnant with my son. So, yeah. About six years. That's crazy. I'm pretty sure. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure. That's crazy. Um,. Yeah, because after I had my son, the nerve damage and stuff, it's just crazy. It's just crazy. I can't. I don't want to drown. But, yeah, I'm looking to get, like, a, a bigger pool. So, we'll see how that goes. We'll see. I went to still fix up the backyard. We need to buy a lawnmower, but they're so expensive. And we haven't lived in a, a place with, you know, backyard and stuff for, like, years. So, yeah, I have to look in. We have to, I want to try to get a used lawnmower, you know, because I don't want to have to spend hell of money on a new one just cuts grass, you know, I don't need a fancy one, so yeah, um, I'll talk to y'all later, hopefully I can figure, please someone help me figure out how to make more room on my computer for I can talk to you guys, and make cooler videos, I actually have the chicken video I made, um, I, 
I made that a few days ago and I want to um, upload it and stuff, but my computer's on the bricks. So, yep. Let me know what I can do about that. And, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'll talk to you all later. Bye.